Hi kids. So I'm puttering around town and uh, the Odyssey here and it starts jerking around and giving me the flashing check engine light. I got the old blinking check engine light, which of course means a misfire. I read the code because I always have a code reader in the car. It gives me the 301 error code, which means that number one cylinder coil pack is not firing for some reason. So I swapped that with number three. Now when I get check it, I'm reading the 303 error code. So that means our misfire moved with the coil. So I went over to Harbor Freight, grabbed some tools because I didn't really have any tools in here other than a code reader. Now I'm gonna go into the zone of autos and get me a coil pack. Went in there, 60 bucks for a uh, Duralast. I was gonna get the Denso, but for 70 bucks, they didn't have it. Here's the fantastic $39 toolkit I bought. Some gloves from Harbor Freight. Parking lot repairs 101. There's a 301. There's a 303. And we'll need a quarter inch drive and an adapter to go with our fine Pittsburgh ratchet. This is going to stay in this car, so I know I've got a full tool set in here. Oops. There's our coil pack. Oh, it looks wonderful. can't judge these things by looking at them. There's not much you can see. Sometimes you can see cracks, but I don't see any on this one. Let's run this in. This is my Duralast. So the point of this video is to show you that if you get comfortable diagnosing and working on your own car, your day is not going to be ruined when the check engine light comes on. Solve the problem, get back into it. Do what you got to do. So I ended up swapping that number one coil there with the number three coil down there. And the problem moved to number three. So I ended up swapping number three with number four. And it moved to number four. So now we have a new coil at number four and we're firing on all cylinders. The point of this video is to show you that once you get used to diagnosing and repairing your own vehicle, even if you leave the house with no tools and no parts and you're a million miles from home and your check engine light comes on and your car starts running like crap, if you're resourceful, you can fix it yourself really quickly and get back on the road and not have it interrupt your week. Jesus. People don't know how to drive. Ah, so much more better. I love this old van and I love that J35 motor. Now when you find your auto parts place, uh, they're going to tell you that when one coil goes out, they're all going to go out. So you need to go ahead and buy all of them and replace them. And that was $250 for the cheap ones at AutoZone. I'm not going to do that. I've owned this 2004 Honda Odyssey for over 10 years. I've put 100,000 miles on it. I've replaced two coil packs. They don't all go out at the same time. So get the one coil pack you need, put it in, and do what you gotta do. Having one bad coil pack and replacing six is akin to loading up the parts cannon. You don't need to do it. Anyway, until next time, this is Clint Cersei saying, you can do this, I promise. You can replace a coil pack in an AutoZone parking lot with some Harbor Freight tools made out of tin foil. See you next time.